published, 1426 EDT, the 18th of April 2018, updated, 1536 EDT, the 18th of April 2018 Richard Pearson, 44, had a blaze breakout at his fireworks shop in Inbaswich, Stafford, in October 2014 a business owner told paramedics his firework shop was rammed with explosives and he would go to prison after it was destroyed by a fire that killed two people, a court has heard, Richard Pearson, director of SP Fireworks is alleged to have caused the death of colleague Simon Hillier and customer Stuart Staples in October 2014. Mr. Hillier, 41, and Mr. Staples, 57, both from Hensford, Staffordshire, died as a result of inhaling products of combustion after a fire engulfed an industrial unit in Basswich, Stafford. The two were not found by emergency services until the following day due to the roof of the unit collapsing. A jury heard that Pearson, 44, was badly injured in the incident and was not interviewed by police until months after the blaze. At Stafford Crown Court on Wednesday, Prosecutor Alan Compton said, You will hear that the fire and subsequent explosions occurred shortly after 5 p.m. on October 30, 2014. That set off a chain reaction as other fireworks ignited. The director of SP Fireworks is accused of causing the death of his colleague Simon Hillier, right, and customer Stuart Staples, left. Pearson denies two counts of gross negligence manslaughter. A jury heard that Pearson, 44, was badly injured in the incident and was not interviewed by police until months after the blaze he continued. Their defendant was badly injured by the fire and treated by emergency services at the scene. His comments to paramedics treating him included stating that the premises was rammed with explosives and that he would go to prison for what had happened. The prosecution alleges that the quantity and nature of fireworks in the unit should not have been stored in the premises at all due to the adjoining buildings. Mr. Compton said, he has many years of experience handling fireworks. He would have known full well the dangers that existed in running his business the way he did on the 30th of October 2014. It is the prosecution case that the failures identified are so fundamental and so serious that they can properly be categorized as gross failures. Pearson's comments to paramedics treating him included stating that the premises was rammed with explosives and that he would go to prison for what had happened Mr. Compton said, he has many years of experience handling fireworks, he would have known full well the dangers that existed in running his business the way he did on 30 October 2014 furthermore, Without them we say that in all likelihood both Mr. Hillier and Mr. Staples would have survived the initial ignition as opposed to the sudden and fatal series of explosions that followed. It is the prosecution case that the severity and extent of the explosions demonstrated that stored at that unit on October 30, 2014, was potentially up to ten times the permitted limit of fireworks. Pearson, of Rowley Park, Stafford denies two counts of gross negligence manslaughter. The trial continues. Sorry we are not currently accepting comments on this article.